The city's south side leave one, leaves one man dead and another in critical condition. And people witnessed the aftermath in the middle of the day at an apartment complex. News 8's Katie Wisely is live at police headquarters. Katie, this has shaken the community. Yeah, that's right. Good morning, Drew. Police tell us that they do not have a motive at this time, but detectives are telling News 8 they're investigating multiple angles, including the possibility that this shootout was drug related. Now take a look at your screen right now. This is some video of the scene on Sunday. It happened at 415 at the Southport Crossing Apartments. It's unclear if the two shooting victims lived there and if they didn't, what they were doing there. Witnesses tell News 8 it was a gunfight and believe the two men who were shot in the back parking lot shot each other. Neighbors say they did not see a third shooter or anyone else who could still be at large. What we know, both men appeared to be in their 20s or 30s. One was found dead in a car. The other ran through the courtyard and collapsed in a bush. Neighbors say he appeared to be bleeding from a chest wound. I got up and looked out the window, and I seen uh, one of the victims running down the sidewalk, holding his gut like this and carrying a big silver pistol. That victim is alive and remains in critical condition at Eskenazi Hospital. Officials haven't identified him or the man who died. This is not the first homicide investigation at these apartments. In June 2017, a 34-year-old woman was shot and killed there. It happened a month after a 31-year-old man was found shot to death in the woods behind the complex. Now, police say that this shooting is an isolated incident, and they're still investigating to figure out what happened and what led up to that shooting. As soon as we get more information, We'll make sure to bring that to you on air and online at wishtv.com. Back to you. Katie, thank you. Five minutes after six now. Police.